Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Silent Hill 3. You are here with Morris. Oh god, the blood is still on me. And yeah, it really is welcome back to Silent Hill now, because we're actually in Silent Hill. Uh, for the first time in this game. Part 12, that's pretty impressive. Um, how do I know it's part 12? I keep, a, I keep a good eye on where we're up to these days. What can I say? I apologize for the weird error. Uh, a few episodes ago where the sound kind of just freaks out. It's the problem with recording things in advance. You never know what what problems you're going to face uh, later down the line. But there you go. Hopefully that wasn't too much of an issue. Um, and hopefully there won't be any more issues. But there you go. Um, I noticed something when I was just prepping this episode. I have Dad's notebook in my inventory and I didn't realize. <clears throat> Dad wrote about my past in here. As always, this should be novelized. Should it? Really? I, uh, I, I don't know. I've never seen this before. I don't remember this item from when I last played it, but there you go. I hope this will never come to any use. Maybe it's better if you never know. But I'll write it down anyway, just in case. More than anything else, I fear the possibility of your going away far from me. But sometimes we have to tell the truth. That's why I'm writing this. Before I'm lost in death and oblivion. Harry was a real pessimistic guy, really. What happened back then? This has something to do with who you are. It all started 24 years ago. Coming back from a vacation, my wife and I found a baby on the side of the highway. Since we were childless, we thank God for letting us meet this child, this girl. We took her home. Which is weird. Three years later, my wife died, and another four years later, 17 years ago, a lot of math going on here, I came to Silent Hill. I heard the girl's pleas and took, took her with me, not knowing why she wanted us to go there. And it was there that the girl went away. Not that she actually went anywhere, nor did she die. Return to her original self. That's what Dahlia Gillespie said. It is Gillespie. Gillespie? Gillespie. Original self. That was the young woman burned by her mother as a sacrifice to God. A lesser Gillespie. Half her soul escaped in those flames. I went on to live in a baby, in that girl of mine, of ours. Seven years passed before that half a girl, <laughs> that half a girl, that's what you're saying, returned to Silent Hill and made a lesser whole again. Newly strengthened, she vowed to kill God. God, a fetus nestled into the sacrificial girl's womb, remember that word, was summoned with the usual rites. This was a lesser's wish, no matter what the outcome, even if her own existence were at stake. But that wish was not granted. My interruption meant she prayed instead for the girl's return. I alone couldn't bring her back. Dahlia did it. I only helped at the birthing ceremony to bring God out of a lesser. Good lord, this is one of... Why would you novelize this? The newly born God wailed once and, and was dead. All from that girl's and probably a lesser's conscious resistance. That's not the end. After God had vanished... This is better than the last story, I guess. After God had vanished in a glow of light, a lesser reappeared and gave me a baby. She looked a lot like that girl so long ago. And then Alessa was gone, dead. There was nothing I could have done to help. I simply clutched the baby to my chest and ran off. The whole thing felt like a dream, but I had proof that it wasn't. The girl was nowhere to be found, and in my arms, the baby. Now 17 years have passed. It feels like only yesterday, and again it feels like a million years ago. I confess I had reservations at first about raising that baby. Could I love her? Her existence was thoroughly unexplainable. I thought she could be that young woman who snatched away my beloved daughter. That led to sadness, anger. There were times when I put my hands around her tiny little throat. Jesus Christ, I didn't know that much. Several times I even considered abandoning her. That's what a terrible person I am. But I decided to raise her after all. I just couldn't seem to let her go. When she, when you look at me, you laugh, so... Even now I can't forget about that girl. But I love you. I have no doubts about that. That's all I ask you to believe. To my precious daughter, Harry Mason. Well, there you go. Guy stole a baby, loves the baby, the end. That's pretty much what that is. Fair enough, Harry, but it just goes to show how doomed he was from the beginning. I find that, uh, I find that probably the saddest part about it. Anyway, that's the bathroom. I don't need to use it right now. Where's the actual door? Oh, it's here. So, in case you were wondering, are we actually in Silent Hill now? Where's the proof? Well, I'll tell you the proof 
It's right outside this door when it loads in, in one second. After what I'm saying right now, that's when it's gonna load in. Just one second after I finish talking. There you go, I told you. Does this look familiar? What's that? You need more proof? Well, we have a handy dandy map right here. So 106 is our room, which is nice. Brooke, I don't, are we paying for this? I don't know, I didn't, I didn't see a clerk on the way in, so I don't know if we're just paying for this or if we're just here. Um, but yeah, we have to head to Brookhaven Hospital. And I'm sure there'll be plenty more, um, you know, we'll, we'll do a, we'll do a kind of sightseeing tour of the place, I'm sure. Oh my god, this feels, uh, this feels strange. It feels kind of good to be, to be back here, I guess. And to actually be seeing Silent Hill 3 in all its, uh, in all its glory. Because it looks really good. It does look very similar to Silent Hill 2. I guess they're both PS2 and... I don't know, they're both quite near each other in terms of release date, so... I don't know. It's all it's all relatively similar, but it's just... It's it's nice. It looks good. I, I, I know I've said it before, but the game does hold up. And I think it's when you're in this location that you realize... <coughs> excuse me. That you actually start to realize how good it does look. And you probably think I'm crazy because you can't actually fucking see anything, but it's, um, I guess that's the point. <laughs> that's why it looks good. I also can't go that way, so I guess we're going down here. And I would wonder if there are any other locations that we can go to. Because we've been, I mean, I guess we've been everywhere, really. Just not in this game. <laughs> so I wonder what locations are open to us and what, what isn't. And, uh, you know, wandering around here as Heather Mason, I just can't help but think back to when we were Harry Mason, and we just... It really still gets to me that we kind of just skipped past a lot of stuff. I mean, yeah, it was optional, I guess, but... It just kind of, uh... I don't know, it got to me a little bit. Oh, God. Really? It's begun? It's begun already? Holy hell, okay. They are out in force today, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the welcome wagon has, ar has arrived. Alright, let's keep it moving. But yeah, the similarities between this and, and Silent Hill 1 are very... Uh, I don't know, very on the nose. And we'll get more into that later, but... I, I you know, I can't help but think about the uh, the film. Whenever I see... Uh, no, she's a little bit tired. Whenever I actually see Heather... It's, it's weird that they kind of went... Went for this as the angle for the film, I thought. I mean, if you imagine if they made a... Whoa. If you imagine if they made a film of something like Silent Hill 2. I mean, would that even... Would people even go and see that kind of thing? Because this is like a... I mean, I talked about the similarities between this and Silent Hill 1. The main deal being that it's all about the cult stuff. And they're like, oh, the town's evil, and look at these evil people doing evil things. Mm. That's good OJ. And I guess in terms of making a film, maybe that's the way you'd want to go. Making some kind of a surreal kind of... I don't know, it's just, it's just plain dark Silent Hill 2, you know? But I guess that's what horror should be, really. I also don't know if this is the right way. But this is open, so I guess we're going in here. First aid kit, beef jerky. This place has everything. Anything to say, Heather? Oh, hello. It's a tourism pamphlet. I'd forgotten it, but it's true. Silent Hill was originally a resort town. I want a game where you just go to the resort of Silent Hill. And it's like a Sims type thing. Welcome to Silent Hill. Silent Hill, a quiet little lakeside resort town. We're happy to have you. Take some time out of your busy schedules and enjoy a nice restful vacation here. Row after row of quaint old houses, a gorgeous mountain landscape, and a lake which shows different sides of its beauty with the passing of the day. From sunrise to late afternoons to sunset. Apart from when there's fog everywhere and you can't see anything, Silent Hill will move you and fill you with a feeling of deep peace. Especially when we just kill you, and then you won't feel anything at all. I hope your time here will be pleasant and your memories will last forever, because you'll be haunted by them in your dreams. Editor, Roger Widmark. Well, Roger, 
It remains to be seen whether I'll have a, a, a relaxing, peaceful vacation here. Just leaving shotgun shells just on the bar. That's that's how you know you're in a peaceful little little town. <laughs> the lock is broken. I guess this maybe is a... Oh, hello. What is this? It's a fly from a club. It shows a woman with long black hair. The return of Lady Maria from 8pm on the 27th. I'll be there. Sounds like my kind of show. But yeah, this doesn't. Uh, this place doesn't really have that much significance to Heather. <laughs> but it's nice that they let you go back in. And this is the. Uh, I don't know. I guess that's the. I guess that's the weakness when you start thinking of making the game all about the the cult stuff. Because when you go back to Silent Hill. Between 1 and 2, obviously they're very different, but 2 is a case of each location kind of has a significance in some way to the character. Um, but in 1 and in this game, it doesn't really work out that way as much. It's more about they're just creepy places, like it's a hospital. Hospitals are creepy anyway, just normal hospitals with people in them during the day are, qu <laughs> are quite creepy, I think. You know, they're, not, they're never pleasant places, really, you know, in all truth. I mean, I'm being very honest with you there. That's that's kind of what I think. Um, you never go to the hospital because everything's okay. Let's put it that way. Um, so there is that. Oh, God, I don't have a map of this area. And there's enemies. Good. What a great start that we've made here. Holy hell, nurses. Um, but, yeah, in this game, it's... It is all about, hey, we're in a hospital. Hospitals are scary, let's put some scary things in. It's also really dark. You know, that that's kind of what it feels like to me. It's a medical record or something. It's for that this Leonard guy. Could this be the same Leonard that Vincent was talking about? God, it was like two days ago when I played it. I don't even remember that. Room S12. Well, I guess we're going to room S12. Presenting mild audio-visual hallucinations, emotional instability, obsessive ideas, suspect mild schizophrenia, will continue observation. Basically calm and cooperative, with a strong sense of justice. However, according to reports, becomes very violent when overexcited. The other one is for Stanley Coleman, room S07. Usually passive and cowardly, also egotistical. Is this about me? Sometimes shows and acts on obsessive attachment to a particular woman. Could be. This has caused violent incidents. You <laughs> use caution. No, definitely not. Definitely not me. That's fine. That last bit? No, definitely not me. It's all good. There's nothing of interest on top of this desk. But I'm okay with apparently reading through private documents about patients. There's a memo posted on the refrigerator. Food only. Do not store drugs. I wonder if it's okay to store drugs in here. Ooh, health drink. Oh, only one? That sucks. I need a- you need a little fridge next to it that says DRUGS ONLY! Do not store food. That's how you know. Okay, so I'm obviously looking for a map. That's kind of... We know this already. There's stuff written on the whiteboard, but none of it really matters to me. Like, that is priority one whenever you go to a new place, so... The lock is broken. The lock is broken. Well, no map in here. So, S07 and S12. Those are the two... What is she looking at there, sorry? Oh, just those notes. Alright. So yeah, those are the two, uh, I guess, main leads we have, is those two rooms. But we kind of got to figure out... I mean, this is exactly the same layout as it always was, so... In terms of finding our way around, it shouldn't be too much, too much hassle, really. What is that? There must have been kids here too then. I played with dolls like this when I was a child too. It really takes me back. This is really no time to reminisce, Heather. This day has finally come. That's right, the day when you and I will meet. I was always thinking of you here in this gloomy cell. I never even knew your name or face until today. But now I know. I know you're the one I've been waiting for. And haven't you been waiting for me too? That's why you came to rescue me. Oh, how I love you. Heather! Okay. I want to give you my prize doll. 
I made to commemorate our meeting, the start of this everlasting love. I can already see your smiling face. Stanley Coleman. So what is it? Disgusting! <laughs> I won't touch that with a 10-foot pole. I like how the text changed. That's good. That's so good. It's just a flower pot. Nothing special. I don't know what kind of plant it is. Ugh. I never get bored of this. <laughs> I never get bored of this dialogue. Or well, this text, rather. Holy... Ow. Please get out of the way. Thank you. This room normally has a save point in, am I right? And should have the map. Save point. Is there a map anywhere? Did that hurt? I feel like that would have... Eh, a little bit. A little bit. Not too much, but a little bit. Is that it? Oh, that's it, baby. That's it. Brookhaven Hospital. Alright, well, let's take a look. So I believe we already cleared out... Yeah. Most... Most of this initial... The initial area. A couple of doors just to check, but I don't anticipate there be anything else. Mmm. It is good, OJ. It's another hot day today, so... No tea right now. I don't know why I keep calling it playing games and sipping tea. I haven't sipped tea in, like, three months or something. <laughs> like, on video. Uh, Alright, so... What do we want? S07 and S12, is it? 12 or 13? So it's, it's, it's up on the top floor, is where we need to be. That's where the action is, anyway. So, uh, yeah, that's fine with me. Top floor it is. What else we got? Anything? Anything at all? Anything juicy in here? Nope. Okay. Well, I better save it now that I'm here. Man, uh, don't you miss those days when games used to uh, make a big deal out of the save point? Like it was, you know, it was it was a moment that you had with the game when you saved it. I hate it when you get like a really you get like a brand new PS4 game. I don't know if I've said this before. You get a brand new PS4 game, and it's like, oh, this is amazing. Look how good this looks. Oh gosh, mate. And then you get to the save point, and it comes up with the generic like PS4 looking menu thing, and you're like, ah, you could have done something with this. You could have done something. You could have put that effort in. But not a lot of games do it now. It's quite depressing. There are a bunch of different types of medicine, but none of it looks useful. Well, we'll see. We'll see if we get it sick. I guess I should just leave it all alone. Okay. There's nothing interesting scattered on the shelf or scattered on the floor. There's just something very satisfying, even when you don't find anything, that, that Heather clarifies that there's nothing interesting. You know? She's there to try to... She's trying to help you, you know? You're in this together. Okay, so we got a couple of doors on that side, the bathrooms and the cafeteria, and the storeroom on this side. So we'll hit the storeroom and then we'll do a loop-de-loop. -loop. Whoa! Okay. Okay, that's fine. So it's really just the bathrooms. Did I... did I even hit those? Where are they? Oh, right. I thought that was the wall. Jeez. Okay. So that's broken, that's broken, and there's nothing over there. Okay. Is this... Nope. Is that a thing? Nope. Okay. Well, let's get out of here then, shall we? So, we have the staircase, the examining room, and the rest of this. Staircase, I would expect, yeah. I would expect it to open eventually. If not straight away. Five. Oh, God. Six. Seven. Wow, okay. Eight. Eight shots. More than enough to kill anything that's dead. So eight shots. I can, I can. Mm, I don't know actually if I can live with eight shots. That is some breathing going on right now. Can you hear that? <laughs> Oops! I just used three of them, I think. All right. Um. Well. 
I guess that's fine. I guess we got plenty. Oh god, there's so many doors. I don't know if you do that thing where if you turn the turn the torch off, they can't actually see you. I don't know. I'm not with Oh god! Oh Jesus! Jesus! No, 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 no. Really? 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 Is that happening? Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We are gonna clear this room. We're just gonna do it of a different fashion to what you would expect. Jesus. I gotta kick him. I gotta kick him. Keep him down. Oh god. Stop. Please. Stop. Wow, what a room. What a friggin' room that is. Would you please kick that one in the crotch? No, stop auto-aiming onto that one, stupid. Okay, now the real question of whether I will actually keep this save now is if there's anything actually in here. Because I feel like that was to deter me from even coming in here. There is nothing in that room, is there? There is nothing at all in this room. Nothing to pick up. Well, you know what, guys? I am going to load the previous save and come back here. Um, but thank you very much for watching. <laughs> ah, this episode of Silent Hill 3. It is good to be back, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and I hope to see you in the next part, guys. I hope you're excited for the rest of this, because this is when it starts to get good, in my opinion. Um, but there you go. See you later, guys. See you in the next part.